Hello and welcome to Security Analytics in OpenSearch. Today I will be showcasing how to use and create correlations and correlation rules in Security Analytics. Our correlation engine gives users the ability to compare findings from different log types and draw correlations between them. This allows us to understand the relationships between findings from different systems and increases confidence that an event is meaningful and requires attention. The correlation engine in Security Analytics uses correlation rules to define threat scenarios involving different log types. It can then perform queries on logs to match relevant findings from those different log sources. Once a correlation is created, a correlation graph is then generated to provide a visual representation of findings, their connections, and the proximity of these connections. It can also help identify the relationships between different findings in a chain of security events. To get started, we will first create a detector on a CloudTrail log type and give it some rules. For more information about how to create a detector, you can watch our video on how to create and use a security analytics detector. So here we're creating the CloudTrail detector with AWS Lambda function created or invoked rule. Once this detector is created, we'll repeat these steps and create a second detector on a Windows log type. We'll create this Windows detector using the Quark's PW dump clearing access history rule. As you can see here, both detectors for CloudTrail and Windows were successfully created. Now let's create our correlation rule that will correlate our findings once they have been generated. To set up a correlation rule, we'll go into the correlation rules tab and then create a correlation rule. Here we can specify our correlation rule name and we'll call it CloudTrail and Windows correlation rule and the time window, which is the period that we want our findings to be correlated in. The default is five minutes, but it can be specified anywhere between one minute to 24 hours. And then we can also specify how we want to correlate our queries. We have the option of configuring our query by either a data filter, a group by clause, or both. The data filter will generate correlations whenever the generated findings correspond to the data filter that we set, whereas the group by clause will generate correlations whenever the values between each data source for the fields that we specify match. I'll show a simple example using both of these clauses. For data source 1, we'll use our CloudTrail log type, so our index is OCSF API activity, our log type is CloudTrail, and we'll set our data filter to look for wherever API.operation is create function, and we will group by the user field. Next, for data source 2, we'll use our Windows index, which is a Windows log type. We will specify the data filter to be category, and we'll specify the value here. And we'll group by the user ID field here. This correlation rule will correlate whenever the same user creates a Lambda function and executes a DNS query. Each action by itself could be a low fidelity event that doesn't raise any security concerns, but when correlated together could lead to a higher security risk that needs investigating. Now that all of our detectors and rules are set up, we'll insert two documents that match the rules set up with each detector respectively, and wait for the findings and correlations to be generated. So here are our findings generated, and we can see that we have our CloudTrail finding generated here, as well as our Windows findings generated here. And here we can see the graph of all of our correlations and see how closely the correlations are related to one another. You can control which findings are displayed on the graph by filtering by severity level, log type, and time filter. 
The time filter controls the findings that appear on the graph by setting a date range in which they are generated. This is the new correlation we just generated here, and we can see what sigma rule generated that finding. If we click into it, we can also see that correlation, the correlation score which specifies how closely it's correlated to each other, as well as the finding or findings that it's correlated to. And there you go! Congratulations! You have just set up correlations in security analytics on OpenSearch.